Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are talking about my five August favorites. Yeah, I know it's August. The year has come and gone so fast, and it's really, really hot. I'm, I'm letting you know it's really hot. But I won't keep you wondering what they're going to be, and they're kind of cool. One of them's really, really cool, but, but let's get into it. This list is in no particular order, but we are going to start off with a humidifier. This is the HMHKHN Aromatherapy Humidifier. Now, I'm not going to talk about this at length because it's actually almost exactly like another humidifier I've talked about. However, the cool part about this humidifier is what's on top. On top of it is a fake succulent arrangement, which you're probably saying that isn't going to really fool anybody. It looks like fake succulents. And I'm going to say, well, probably you're right. It isn't going to fool anybody. However, if you have ever tried to store a humidifier, that can be an issue. Trying to find a place where you can put this humidifier, which is actually a fairly good size, and if you don't have a lot of room, you aren't going to know where to put it. Well, this one, with its fake succulents, can actually go out. I personally don't think the succulents look that bad. If you put them in a nice spot, you can put them out, and it looks like a succulent, more like a succulent arrangement. It doesn't necessarily look like a humidifier. Now, this humidifier does work exactly like my other humidifier of the same type work. It has a wonderful sound. It has mist, which is pretty light. It changes color. You can decide on the color. At nighttime, it glows. It is something which is really nice. I really like the sound, and I have fallen asleep to this, probably more for falling asleep than adding air to the environment, but I do like this. I like it a lot, and then the fact that I can actually now put this thing out without it looking like a flying saucer sitting out someplace is really nice. I'm totally, totally enjoying this. Now here's an interesting one. As you know, I love to grow plants, and so I like to be able to rotate my plants so that that way I can make sure that they are growing evenly. And I also like to have something underneath them so that they don't damage the wooden counters or whatever they're on top of. Well, a Lazy Susan. This is a four pack of Lazy Susans. They are acrylic, they are wonderful, because they hold water. The cool part about this is I can put them down, I can put my plant on top of them, and then when it comes time to just rotate, I can just rotate the plant around. They don't look bad at all. In fact, they look pre pretty good. And the fact that they are clear, they sort of disappear, and the fact that I can now water them without worrying about the water going everywhere, because yes, I'll admit it, I have been known to overwater things. And this way, these will collect the water. And the other cool part about this is if I'm trimming plants, I can put the plant on the Lazy Susan and trim around my indoor plants by spinning it around. It is just wonderful. I didn't think that I would like the Lazy Susan as much as I do, but the fact that I can put all these plants on there, spin them around, around, oh my gosh, it is a game changer because it just makes life easier. Now, one of the things which you can probably see right there, let me get you a close-up, these are the Moxana wall planters. Okay, now these are actually kind of cool. Now, the thing to remember is you're going to want to grow small plants in them. This is not going to be one of those things that you're going to be able to grow a big plant because the planter itself is actually small, and what it is is it's two pieces. There's the outside shell, which houses a nice growing area. This does have a wicking system so that you can put your wick, which is included, down into it, and then when you water it, the water goes into the bottoms and then feeds up as needed. So you don't have to really worry about overwatering. I've planted this up with uh, pothos, and I really like this. And the fact that it looks actually pretty good there on the wall, I don't have to worry about water going everywhere when I water it. And I've been enjoying it because it's a simple thing to hang up. I just used a screw in my wall, and there you go. 
I would make sure that you anchor this into something secure because it will get sort of heavy when you add the extra water to it as you're watering or as your plant gets bigger. I will probably end up putting up some sort of trellis above the plant right there so that that way it can grow up the wall as needed and I'm like really really liking this. It looks good it will protect my plants and it gives me more space to grow. This does come in, I do believe, a 12 pack. Uh, I'll double check to make sure on that. And they're really worth the money. All right, let's talk about this. You probably just saw this last week. Or was it last week? This is the D-Deer 1.5 pound silicone baking loaf pan. Baking loaf pan. Yeah. Here's what I like about this. If you know me and my problem with uh, pans, I can get all sorts of pans, I can spray them, and I'll still have sticking. This thing did not stick. Like, didn't stick whatsoever. That's what I love about this. The fact that I can bake, bake really nice loaves in it. I just did the fruitcake in it. It worked wonderfully. It worked so well. I'm, like, absolutely amazed by how well it did work. And... Uh, the fact that it didn't stick, that's my big thing. I didn't have to line it, no parchment paper, no folding things, no liners or any sort. Just put your batter in there, put it into the oven and bake it, and it was great. Now, I will say that the things which I've listed before are all from Amazon Vine, which I do get the items for free to test out and then write a review for. I am not paid to give a good or bad review for this. I give an honest review and that's sort of fun, so that is something to remember. Now, this next one was not for me. This was Mom's. This is a vacuum because, well, I mean, she needs to be able to vacuum very easily and she has a dog that loves, loves to bark at the vacuum. So what we did is we got her a evac Dbot T20 Omni Robot Vacuum and Mop. Let me just start off by saying, wow, this thing works. This thing works so, so well. Okay, what it is, is it is just like a robot vacuum and mop. You've probably seen them before. I have a robot vacuum, but I have what would be considered a dumb robot vacuum. My robot vacuum, the only way that it knows that it's something's going to run into it is if it runs into it. Mom's robot vacuum, the T20, it can vacuum like it knows it's going to run into something. In fact, it mapped out her house, so my vacuum will run into things. Her vacuum mapped out her whole entire house, so that that way, we, after labeling each room, I can tell her vacuum to vacuum or clean whatever part of the house that we want. So it also does this really cool thing where it senses the floor. It can tell if there's a carpet down, if there's a carpet down, it will raise up the mop. Uh, which is which are round mopping discs. It will raise those up so that it is not getting them the floor wet It will also tell that if there's no carpet down it will lower the mopping disc and it will mop It does a nice job mopping. Here's the cool part about this. It makes hot water So you'll fill up the tank with clean water Then it also has a dirty water tank. So when it's done it will clean out the mop heads for you. It does recommend a cleaning solution that you can get from Evac. I really think it works well. So you add enough solution to it, put it in there, and it will fill up itself. Now it does take some time to get started once you tell it to start uh, vacuuming because it cleans itself. It cleans, it empties, it does all those things all on its own. And then you can tell it you can tell it to clean your entire house. We have not done that simply because, like I said, the dog's there. And probably to clean mom's entire house would take like uh, two hours. The biggest area that she has to that needs to be cleaned is her dining room and living room, which is combined, and that took about 40 minutes to clean all from the beginning to the very end. But it worked. It works really well. It's not too loud. 
and it runs really nice and the fact that it can figure out it does the floor plan once it has the floor plan when it goes to vacuum it runs around the room so that that way it can see what's there what things it could possibly run into it does have detection so that that way it can see if you drop something on the floor if there's something there on the floor that it needs to avoid and then it does a pattern the really nice part about it doing a pattern is the fact that it will make sure that every spot on your floor is cleaned and that is a big thing. You have no idea how big of a thing that is because with my vacuum, you just have to let it go. I know for my space, I let it run for about 30 minutes per room and with it just going any which way, yeah, yeah, you, you hope it gets everything, but this one will get everything. Now, the one cool part about this also is the fact that if you really want to do a thorough cleaning, it can do that. You can decide how deep of a clean that you want to do by the application. The app has all of the different settings that you would possibly need for this, but it's really, really cool. This has changed things because mom can go, we can bring the dog over here, we can set to just do one room, get it done, and like by doing one room a day, that does make life a whole lot easier. Now, if you want to see me do a deep dive into this vacuum, let me know down in the comments, and I can do a whole video on it, but I really think that this is going to be one of those game changers where it will do a nice job, it uses hot water, it's easy to clean, you don't have to worry about emptying out your vacuum because the vacuum that I have has to be emptied out each time that I use it. This vacuum does have vacuum bags that you can get and you just have to empty those out about once a month, but that's an okay thing. I, I can live with that. Well, those are my five favorite things for the month of August. I'm really enjoying these and like I'm, well obviously I use them, in fact that plant right there, sorry, my plant right there is on the turntable, those are the uh, planters on the wall, The you've seen me bake the uh, humidifier I use all the time and of course the vacuum we're using every day. These are things that I truly love, truly enjoy and I think you might like them too. There are links, there are affiliate links down below in the description. And if you want to help out this channel, you can buy the things from those links. It does help this channel. Or you can be like one of these people. I want to thank these people who let me test out all of these things and like to hear what I have to say about them. These are my channel members and also my patrons from Patreon. They get to see the videos like this early and they get a weekly vlog of what's going on in my life. If you want to become one of them, go ahead and hit the link and become one of the channel members and help support this channel. I hope you enjoyed this. If there are products you'd like to see me test out, let me know down in the comments. I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.